So obviously, first you need to download the model. Open up VTube Studio from Steam, then click the Steam icon next to the settings gear on the sidebar. If you search Live 2D Template Furry, or just Furry, it should show up as the first result. After downloading, it'll automatically be placed in your Live 2D Models folder. Go to the Model Selection area and it'll be the one with the Steam icon in the corner. Wow, congratulations, you are now a furry, oh my god. Okay, that was the easy part. Now for the slightly more difficult part. If you haven't used the Live2D editor before, you'll have to download it first from the Live2D website. In addition to the usual model files, Mach 3 and JSON, there is also a project file, CML3, and PSD included with the download. Open the CML3 project file in the Live2D editor. In either the parts hierarchy or the deformer hierarchy on the left, you can toggle or switch parts like the hair pieces, ears, horns, cheek fuzzes, tails, nose type, and eye shape. The chest fuzz and booba can also be turned off. If you wish to change the colors or patterning, you want to open the PSD file in your program of choice, e.g. Fire Epica, Clip Studio Paint, Krita, Photoshop, etc. Edit the parts you want to change and then re-import it. Drag and drop onto the open project and select Replace Existing PSD. Make sure to use Protect Alpha or Clipping Layers so that the original shapes aren't changed. You'll also want to make sure you color the transparent pixels on the borders of features like the face and cheek fuzz, or the joints of limbs, basically anywhere where there isn't light art on the border. Just as a little warning, there's a few parts in the PSD file that aren't used in the final project, so make sure that the thing that you want to use is actually in the project before you color it. Basically like a few hair pieces and eyebrow shapes and eyelash shapes. Make sure to merge any extra layers you made as well. As a note, if you try to edit the texture directly instead of re-importing the PSD, you'll run into two problems. Firstly, the texture page is not organized in any particular manner, so it might be hard to find what you want. Secondly, if you do manage to edit it successfully, when you open the model file in VTube Studio, it'll have crunchy lines on the borders, even if you colored the transparent pixels properly. Once you're done editing, Save as a new PSD and then drag and drop it onto the original project in the Live2D editor. At this point you can save it as a new Live2D project and or export the model for use in VTube Studio. There is also an additional optional step here. You can edit the texture atlas and remove the extra parts you don't need and make the rest bigger. This will make the exported model slightly higher quality. When you're done, drop the newly exported model into VTube Studio's Model Assets folder. When you open it, you can choose to import the settings from the original template model, or just do Auto Setup. And that's basically it. You are now ready to be a furry on the internet.